All right, we're 10 miles in up Las Vegas Boulevard. This Mercedes is for sale. This looks like a opening scene to a gangster movie. We got like an hour to get back. We should be good. Plenty of time. How are we hanging in there, Omar? You're not supposed to go anywhere. Oh, I know. I'd be so bored. So bored. I know. Bike ride's over. We're about, I'm setting up for this tattoo. I just named myself Sam. Egg whites and cheese. And uh, now we're gonna set up for this tattoo. We're gonna work on this geisha. Like fucking two days. Look at this. The salad mix sprouting, son. I'm pretty sure that's ready. I'm just getting ready to rinse these. These don't seem as ready, but damn, this thing's like gonna bust out. So sprouts, boy. Sprout player. Gotta do this every couple of days or every couple of times a day. I think yesterday we left off with sprouts. Yesterday, after the tattoo, I was pretty cooked. I mean, I took a nap, and then I went to the gym, and then I ate, and I was pretty much done, son. Like, I've been sleeping like a lot longer since I've been like in the gym gym more. The gym gym, I don't know what other gym, I guess I was in my home gym before, which is not. You know, it's easier to train like a bitch at home, I think. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's somewhat harder. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the equipment, maybe it's excuses. I would love to have an amazing home gym, but we don't have a room. So, anyway. I'm about to go ride my bike somewhere. It's late, but now the weather is so good it doesn't matter. Anyway, both sprouts. I'm gonna rinse them again, but I wanted to see how they grew from last night because I can't remember. But the video will probably show us. This bitch is full. I feel like I gotta take these out. It's gonna break that glass. Because my life is full of magical frustration. The fucking Tesla is not, oh, well, it's not updating. First, it wasn't charging. I came out here last night and it was at nine, I swear to God. If I get in here and it's working. No, nine miles were left on the car. But now, after I went inside, it seems like it's fine. This entire screen was just updating for hours until I went and grabbed the camera. I guess I can not lose my mind about that one. Charge. And it's charging. How many miles is that one? Like, I can't, 70 maybe? Yeah. Oh, at least that's better than nine. Yeah, better than nine. Good Lord. So the uh, bike ride was very uneventful today. I, my legs are toast, so toast. Yesterday was a uh, mostly leg day in the gym. I really hate the term leg day and chest like, days. I don't really, I can't stand that shit. But I did mostly work out my legs yesterday and today they are cooked. I have this list of stuff I have to do. Let's see, nothing really, I mean, it's, it's just business stuff, you guys don't care. It's like emailing people and trying to figure out what I'm doing. The Ted Quarters, getting some work done. It's been hours. Working all morning on just everything on the G-Clay print. A bit of a headache, but I got it figured out. New Gator, possibly. Restock of the old Gator, trying to figure it out. New Era hats. Start trying to release a new skateboard like every couple of months. But yeah, I gotta figure that out. One thing that happened, my Rafa, I think I had talked about how much I uh, liked this, these Rafa bibs that I've been cycling in. Well, they ripped here on the inside. Don't really know how. On the outside, they've been like wearing. It looks like I like fell, but I didn't. It's just wearing and wearing and wearing. But uh, I hit up Rafa, because these bibs are expensive as shit. They're like 300 bucks. Uh, they just sent out a brand new pair. So shout out, shout out to Rafa. We're switching back to tubeless tires. I've been riding on the Gator Skin tire now for a few, or a week. Yeah, a week. I did like 154 miles on the Gator Skin. I like it, it's more rigid. In the event that the tube pops in the street, you know, like the tubeless is, is better at least to get your ass home. And I want to start going on further and further rides. I know I could just learn how to change the tubes on the fly, but I don't want to do that. I got to be honest. I, I, it's like last resort for me of what I would want to do while I'm riding my bike. Other than get pulled over. Oh, we photoshopping something? Like, what are we doing? Okay. What are we What is taking so long? I go... If you're running my ID, that takes like three minutes. I've done this before. Yeah. So what could possibly be taking this long? But what does that job entail? Since we got nothing to do but sit here. I mean, that doesn't take that long either. Yeah. 
I know, but I can question, right? Okay, cool. I promise you I'm not riding my bike with a weapon on me. You do? You ride your bike with a weapon? Yeah, I don't, I'm not that afraid of the world. What a fucking waste of time. So, I'm really having a plan for the, f for the future, trying to get all these drop stuff ready. It seems like with the election, uh, approaching holidays, pandemic, it's really, really hard to get stuff done. So right now I'm working on what I'm working on and just trying to like, you know, get logs in the fire. Now that I'm getting my ducks in a row, the next day or two will be um, a lot of drawing. Two weeks I've kind of set aside to just work on new stuff. This is where we're at. And the lookbook ship today. We have a lookbook out for friends and family that you guys have all ordered. It's on the way to us today, which is great. Which means there will be a public drop somewhat soon. All fantastic news. Uh, my legs still feel like shit. Yeah, I'm doing okay. So I just take my drugs every day. And sometimes I try to do too much. And that's pretty much it. I'm kind of bored. Huh. And we've been looking at a leg brace, but we don't know yet right now. Right now, lots of rest. A little bit of a diet change. And since we're like, you know, into all this fitness stuff, you know, the indoor cycle is getting better. Yonkey seed that we threw on here. This has got to go. It's awful. It's terrible. The S-Works Power Arc Pro, I believe, short nose. Uh, I can't, I can't remember, but it's expensive. It's like a $300 saddle. I know, I know I'm tripping. This $300 saddle, probably going to come over here. Put on extenders for the pedals, new clip-in pedals. This handlebars, these handlebars coming off. We're going to put this exact same model handlebar over here. Here. So this is a nice big wide grip and essentially we have to make this bike exact same as this bike so that it's like I'm actually training on it. So long story short this seat is going back into the garage and no I will not be riding this bike with no seat. I ordered a brand new S-Works carbon mirror seat. It's $450. I know that's ridiculous but I did it and it's on the way and we're going to try it out because it's got really good reviews and I probably didn't need to buy it but I did and it's just too late now and I'm sorry and I just had to do it. We're not buying shoes like that anymore. We can afford to see I guess. It's got really good reviews. All right, I really gotta go to the gym now. Jim, see ya soon. I'll probably be eating. This is so much sprouts, dude. You never, my mom used to bitch at me all the time when I was a kid for when we go to the grocery store. I'd get a thing of sprouts because all my cool vegan friends ate sprouts and she'd be like, dog, them shits are like $5 and you never finish them. This is insane. This is like fucking $45 worth of sprouts and who knew? Not me, not me, dog. Fucking basic bitch out here didn't know. Salad mix dried out. Tons of sprouts, dog. Tons of sprouts. Chicken cook. It's instant potatoes, which some people are gonna trip about, but my redneck ass loves instant potatoes. Plus all I gotta do is boil a little water, throw them shits in there and you're done, so. Convenience, cause I'm busy. King Kong, it's also coming soon for everyone. Fucking toys, socks, neck gaiters, every, you know, everything you think of. Skateboards, we got it all. I'm gonna finish cooking, I'm starving. It's uh, what is today, Thursday? I do believe it's Thursday. We got some dogs in here eating. We, of course, are gonna go on a bike ride. I'm just, now that most of my busy work is done, I got a friends and family email going out about future projects. Now, now I have like basically a few days where I need to just do art. I think people think that you just sit down and you just make stuff, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna make this, boom, I'm done. And it's not really how it goes. It's a literal battle with your brain. So I'm about to go into battle with my brain, which has been really helpful. The biker has been so helpful with my mental quietness. You know what I mean? Like my, when I wake up in the morning, there's like a hundred TVs on at once and I gotta shut them all off one at a time. The bike just helps me shut like two or three off at a time. Get the bike ride in, come home, hopefully be super focused and ready to draw for the next mostly two to three days. Mostly. Come on, Scott's No, all right, go back to bed. All right, I'll be back. Love you. Okay, I'm not really sure if I've uh, picked up this camera today. Maybe this morning before the bike ride, possibly. Alien freaks me out every time. But I got this uh, Garmin heart rate monitor for riding my bicycle and ah, keeping track of all these things. Well, mostly my heart and its rate, but it doesn't work directly. Strava, Strava being the app that everybody uses, 
Da -da -da. Long story short, I am being very typical Teddy, speaking in the third person, and also I'm going to get a Garmin computer for my bike, which is expensive. Like, I have now spent a G-bar this week on the bike between this new seat that's coming and this computer, which is ridiculous, I know, I fucking know, but this is for my health, you know what I'm saying? All these things, all these things are for my health, and I am riding my bike a lot. We're clocking over 150 miles a week right now. These are all the rationalizations I've made up for why I'm going to purchase this thing. Some of you are sitting there, it's like, I knew it, he was gonna get one of these. We're just at the eventually. Keep getting, not lost on my bike, but, I keep doing the same routes because I don't know where I'm going. This will actually help me do that. It'll help keep up with my heart rate. It'll, it'll basically do everything. I think this is the last thing I'm gonna have to buy from a bike for a while, other than the D12. We'll talk about the wireless shifting later. We're not gonna talk about that today. Uh, all right, to the bike shops. I mean, at least I'm like conscious of it, you know? But, you know, five, 600 bucks, people spend that on shoes. You know, that's two pairs of Warren Wattis's. Your boy, your boy got clipped. You knew it was gonna happen. You didn't know. We ain't even paying attention. All right, to the bike shop. Edge 1030 plus. Look at that matching set. We're good to go, son. New tires are here. These are the same as the last tires, but not gator skin, but tubeless. Because if we're gonna go on long adventures, we, uh, we can't be having this tube problem. The seat came in, the saddle, not the seat. I'm gonna sound like an amateur here. So we got this new saddle, which was insanely priced. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been an expensive week for the bike, but uh, it's 4D carbon and it's supposed to be amazing. So we're gonna find out. Let's hope so, because it was expensive. Look at that squish. Super squish, son. So I'm real excited about this ride tomorrow morning. Power arc now is on this. That's good. It looks it looks a lot better, that's for sure. Seems a lot more comfortable, so that's good. We're hooked up. Good to go. The only thing I need to do now is the handlebar. That's cheap. The handlebars are like 50 bucks. That's nothing comparatively. Good morning. We're about to go uh, on the bike ride with the new the new gear. I forgot about these sprouts. I think these are bad. My first fumble because they look really wet. That in there doesn't look good. That right there, that part. I think these are probably gonna get thrown out. I messed up one because I forgot about them because I probably shouldn't have started all three at once. That was pretty silly. I'm not gonna eat that many sprouts. But anyway, it's uh, like almost seven. We're headed off for this bike ride. New seat, Garmin. So many people are up my butt about the Garmin versus the Wahoo. Look, I watched like a hundred videos on both. I just have all this Garmin stuff. Brand loyalty, bro. Garmin indoor bike, Garmin fucking heart rate monitor. Garmin, dog. Garmin was the first GPS I ever saw when I was selling Kirby vacuum cleaners. Fun fact for you. We're gonna hit off a little 20 miler, and then we're gonna get back here and we're gonna draw. Okay, so, so far, this thing is awesome. It has taken me somewhere I've never even been, and it's a really fun ride, so that's, that's good. Yeah, it's, pretty dope to not have to think about where you're going. I'm gonna keep going now. It ripped. It's okay. It's gonna be delicious no matter what. All right. Oh, the burrito. The office. <laughs> Skater XL. Email. I really like this thing so far. I mean, I have really no clue yet what I'm doing, but it really made for an enjoyable ride today. I'm pretty sure I forgot, I actually know that I forgot to turn on my uh, heart rate monitor <laughs> or connect it, so I wore it for no reason. But it, yeah, I think this is gonna be great. A lot of people say this thing's kind of buggy and say that they like the Wahoo better. Most of the research that I did, um, I don't know. I just, I have a lot of, go we've, we've talked about this. We've done this. I'm gonna eat my burrito, get some work done. It's Friday, baby. It's Friday, getting prepared. Getting prepared. Keep it moving and getting prepared. I send it to the kitchen. Much that once was is lost. <laughs> I'm sleepy. All right, so got some work done. Still haven't drawn. This is basically like, but my apparently got water delivered, as well as the entire drop. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes for the drop. So I'm eight 
That's a lot. I haven't drawn anything yet. I know what I'm gonna draw, but this is basically the process for me. I go mad, like for days, it's like not a week. Like I'm when I decide like, okay, it's time to get project done, you know, like it's time to get a project started. Or like, hey, Teddy, you really need to focus on a lookbook. For a good solid week, I wonder what this is. Oh, I do know what this is. Uh, for a good solid week, I just go crazy, I rattle my brain, I fucking beat myself up. You know, suddenly on a bike ride or something, the idea will just come to me. So, that's where we're at. I know what I need to draw, which is really the hardest part. But we're gonna get this drop all folded up and shipped. Friends and family, it hasn't gone public yet, of course. A lot of stuff happening. I don't know, mood mats are, are here. Well, not here, they're supposed to be here today as well. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. I love it. I hope I actually ordered myself one this time. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's the week. Podcast on Sunday. Earns in LA right now. Says we'll be back for it. Uh, I don't know what else we got, man. That's been a crazy week. The seat. Oh, I guess we can walk back over here. The bicycle. Teddy, what about the fucking $450 bicycle seat? You didn't talk about it after you rode today. Well, I gotta be honest. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it's a great bicycle seat. I can't give you a full review yet because I just threw it on and went for a ride and I've only gone 20 miles on it. Um, this other seat over there. I've gone a lot, a lot of miles on. I'd say that it depends on what you're coming from. If you're coming from like a real basic seat, this is probably like heaven on motherfucking earth because these seats, are, I mean, are really great. It's really a lot like the other seat over there, but the Power Art Pro. Uh, definitely noticeably squishier, you know, without it being like a fucking gel, big old like gaper, goofy gel seat, which yes, I did buy when I originally started because my ass hurt, but the shorts make a hell of a difference. But anyway, I don't know if it's technically worth the $450 because it's hard to say, but it is a great seat. If you haven't invested in a good seat and you're going to, this is a fantastic, fantastic seat. I need to move it forward a little bit, I believe, compared to where my other seat was. So just like a hair. But move it forward tomorrow and I'll really give you a long-term review later, but first impressions are great. It's a really, really nice and comfortable fucking saddle. This is the Art Pro three $300 seat. If you are upgrading just to like from a basic piece of shit seat that they send with everything for some reason, this right here is gonna blow your mind as well. Provided that you, that this seat fits you, your sit bones are measured correctly. This is the 155, that's the 155. I, uh, I, I like these seats, I mean saddles. I call them seats because I don't like the word saddle. I don't know why. Just prefer a seat. Definitely some hype shit, bro. Look at that hype bike, boy. I mean, that's sexy. There it is. There's my quick review. I'll give you some more updates on the Garmin and the other things as time progresses and I use them. If you see me smash the Garmin, you know I probably should have gone with the Wahoo. I'm gonna go put these bike tires on later. Once my bike guy wakes up, I don't know what he's doing. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.